Hi guys, and welcome to Bartlett Homes and Roofing. We appreciate your being here, and uh, we think this is gonna be a great opportunity for you. We've interviewed a lot of people to find what we think is the best of the best, and we think you're it. So we look forward to your success with Bartlett Homes and Roofing, and a career here that will be long and profitable for both you and for us. Uh, we look forward to uh, providing an opportunity for you and your family to uh, see an income that you may not have seen in the past, and uh, just to talk about that a little bit, I'd like to have you view some information, some interviews from some of our current salespeople and have them explain to you what kind of success you can experience here in the future. The reason I started doing this was um, Doug told me about the opportunity and it's probably my biggest fear. I, I didn't know how to install a roof. I didn't know what kind of roofs exist anything to do with roofing and, and, and that's the biggest fear thinking that I would not be able to sell the product uh, after after being on a job for a very short time it, it didn't take me long probably a few weeks to be able to catch up and learn the basics which helped me a lot in going out there and, and making a lot of sales well so I got into this kind of an interesting way I got into it because you guys came out and did my roof I had damage on my roof found it one day and explained the process and did an excellent job. I was super impressed and I, I was also looking for something uh, supplemental in my life for supplemental income and it just seemed like a really good fit. I, you made it look so easy. I feel like this is a job that absolutely anybody can do. Everybody's got a roof. Everybody wants a good roof over their house. A lot of my clients will high-five me, you know, at, by the end of the process they're just super, super jazzed that they just got a roof for $500 or $1,000. All right, I first got into this career when I was uh, working out of state and so I was looking for something that I could, could come in and, and make good money. And this was something that it pays per your potential, you know, what, whatever you think that is of yourself. And I, I thought that maybe I could uh, take off and run with this and um, it seemed to work out pretty well. So I got involved in this career when the construction downturn hit in 2008. And um, to be honest with you, I didn't have any fears. Um, I researched the opportunity prior to getting involved and I uh, got all my education necessary before I started uh, in the endeavor. And then, of course, you learn as you go along how to master the trade, just as with any trade you get involved in. A little over a year ago, I was working in a 9 to 5, Monday through Friday job, hourly wage, um, not really going anywhere. I was in management, but it just wasn't exciting and didn't really enjoy it. So I was approached by Doug, and um, he offered me this opportunity about a year and a half before I even started and I was very hesitant about getting into it and um, no roofing experience when uh, he approached me again I uh, decided to take this opportunity and um, I learned you don't have to have experience when you come in you can learn it as you go it did not take me very long to make a first sale I basically when I got trained I started selling roofs the first week. I think I made two sales in that first in the first week. You know, I it was easy. And I ended up selling uh, about 30 roofs and they averaged a little over $1000 per roof. 2016 was a fabulous year. I worked 6 months and made my income for the year in that 6 months. Went and worked in Rexburg, Idaho and worked with uh, the most affluent individuals in that community in response to a hailstorm. All that work made for a very profitable year. I sold uh, a little over 60 homes last year. I can tell you that uh, in that, so what, I had three months off last year and I made more than I did in my previous career working 50 hours a week and 12 months out of the year. One of the best sales that I've had was I had an opportunity to sell uh, roofs for a whole entire apartment complex and found out that they've been getting a lot of quotes. I offered her an opportunity to have me take a look at it and examine it for storm damage. When I found some, we were able to start an insurance claim in the whole apartment complex and we replaced all eight of those buildings, which turned out to be a $105,000 job. I enjoy doing this job because I get to uh, work around my schedule if I have some things that I need to work around. I'm able to go out on my own time. Um, it's, it's something that keeps me out of an office, keeps me active. Uh, I don't mind at all working with customers and talking with people, so it's been really enjoyable all the way around. I love the job itself, just the, uh, the aspect of how we work with customers, um, the excitement that customers get when we help them. It's, uh, it's amazing that nobody pays attention to their roof on a daily basis, but how important it is to them when they do get it replaced. Uh, probably my favorite thing about the career is the money. For somebody who's just starting out, the tip that I want to give them is just don't get discouraged. 
learn the product, learn the system, going out there, learn what, what is your law of averages in selling? How many doors do you need to knock on it in order to get a sale? And, and then once you understand that, you can go out there and just do your job peacefully and know that everything that you do is going to be a success eventually. The biggest advice I'd give you is motivate yourself daily. You can go out there in two hours and make a week's income what other people are making. I get paid for what I'm worth and uh, that is a big plus. Well, you know, it was a real opportunity to get in this business when I saw that we could help customers with roof replacements at a very low cost. What made me successful when I first started was getting out and knocking on doors. There's no replacement for it. Getting out and knocking on doors gives you the experience that you need. You learn your own pitch, even though you get all the information uh, that we give in a classroom now. I didn't have that opportunity. I had to figure it out on my own. And the only way I could do it was by knocking on doors and figuring out what worked and what didn't. The qualities I see in my top reps are persistence, a desire to help people, the ability to relate to people on some type of a personal level. You don't have to be the person that is a best friend immediately, but if you can make them believe that you are there to help them and you genuinely feel that inside, I think that goes a long ways towards success. What are my expectations of my sales reps? My expectations are to see people give it their best effort, to not be afraid to ask for it when they need help, and have a plan for success. Guys, I think that you've seen the, from multiple people that the opportunity for success here is real, and uh, we are looking forward to having you achieve uh, your uh, professional dreams here. All you got to do is get out there and put in the work. You got to get out there and learn and it'll happen for you. Good luck and we're here for you when you need us and have fun doing it. We got the right people in charge. <laughs> yeah. Mother!